in Chicago at the SES conference here with Keith Hagen, who's an expert in optimization. And I want to talk about uh, some tips to optimize this shopping cart checkout process. So this is an e-commerce kind of an issue. Right. What are the kinds of things you can do to, to help that process work better and mainly improve conversions? Well, the first thing we want to do is get out of the customer's way. We want to make sure that uh, we give them what they want and what they expect when they expect it. So, so how, how do you see merchants getting in the customer's way, for example? You know, um, if you take a look at the cart page, often you'll see navigation in the cart page. And that means that it's another way for people to go out. But by all means, you should have a continue uh, shopping uh, link. But to actually have the full set navigation um, uh, can often be an invitation to leave the cart. And You've got return. them by the throat and are you, not going to let them you go. You do, yeah. And you want to give them a very clear call to action, which is continue uh, to yeah. check out. Uh, I've, I've noticed continue. that Amazon does this. To get out of Amazon's cart, you have to use back, back, back. There's no place to go with a link. To right. take you back, and it's purposeful. It is. It is purposeful, and I'm sure it's well tested. And for Amazon, I'm sure it works the best way. Mm -hmm. um, most websites are not Amazon, um, so you know the best thing you can do is follow convention. Right now, the convention is a four-step cart. You have okay. your cart or your, and checkout. So you have your cart, then you have your billing information page, then your shipping page, perhaps billing and shipping go together okay. sometimes, and then you have your payment page, and then your thank you page. So. Mm -hmm. Um, when you consider the convention, it offers a lot of security to people. Also, um, with uh, also a, kind of an up and comer is the one page checkout, mm -hmm. and that's an uh, that's an upcoming convention. So, uh, whatever you can do to make people feel comfortable and familiar with your checkout system. So, if you have a good. weird checkout system. Mm -hmm. they're not going to feel comfortable and they may not want to complete the process. Exactly. Some of the biggest faux pas that we've seen is um, having your billing information right below your cart. Mm -hmm. um, often people don't realize that it's there below the fold. Um, often if you're using PayPal, it's duplicate because you're asking people to fill out information where that's kind of defeats the purpose of PayPal. So um, that's, uh, you want to follow convention. You also want to leverage trust. As, many, as much trust as you can. So if you use VeriSign, McAfee, Better Business Bureau, any badges that you have, mm -hmm. um, you, trust badges, you want to use those and, and make sure that so they're they'll, So they'll see those logos in the cart, yep. and they're going to say, hmm, they probably are okay, I'm going to continue. Yep, they'll feel, they'll feel more secure about you. You can also throw in testimonials uh, as well from previous customers. Because when you're buying from a site you don't know, you start to, you're, you're, you get, you're going to buy it, and then you say, but what if they aren't what I hope they are? And those things then reassure people. Exactly. If you're selling something visual, you want to make sure that you have a picture of that. Hmm. You want to have, if you're selling anything with different attributes or features, you want to make sure you have a full product description so that they're sure that they're buying the right thing. If ever they need to check that, you want to keep them on the page using a, a pop-up light box. Hmm. Um, the idea is to keep them on track, provide them with all information that they might um, worry about. Some of the biggest issues we've seen is where people don't carry through the product uh, description and card information on the payment page or on the billing mm -hmm. page. And when people are taking out their credit card or, and about to pay, they need to make sure that what they bought is the right thing. They want to confirm that. And so you need to reiterate and always keep that available. As well as you always want to keep selling throughout the entire cart process. So you want to have your um, you want to have testimonials, you want to have anything that will make them feel more, more comfortable. Now, you're making this a whole lot harder than I was hoping. You see, I was hoping I could buy some, some shopping cart process and it would do all the work for me, but that's really not the case, is it? I don't think so. I think that uh, carts, uh, there are a lot of good carts out there, mm -hmm. and I think there are a lot of cart companies that can facilitate and have templates to provide these. Mm -hmm. I think what um, I think at the end of the day, people are not knowledgeable enough. Of, people have business that are not knowledgeable enough about uh, online sales, mm -hmm. and the um, the cart providers aren't knowledgeable enough about people's businesses. That's right. And so, um, to get fitted with the, the the most optimized cart for you is usually something that takes a little bit of trial and error. Yeah. So. Yeah. And not all carts will do all the things you just described. No, they won't. Um, it's it's important. Uh, uh, it's important to have good cart software, and that's a larger issue. If you have uh, carts that don't allow you to do the things that you feel 
need, your customers need, such as reiterating uh, product information on your billing, mm -hmm. shipping, and payment page, then um, we have to recommend getting another cart. Yeah. Now, this is a big question, but do you have some favorite cart software out there that makes life easy for you to work with as, as someone that's trying to optimize this for somebody? You know, we've worked with um, so many different types of, of carts. I, I think, uh, I, I think uh, you know, we're always happy to hear that customers, our clients have uh, Magento um, or uh, get a, uh, sorry, Elastic Path. Um, okay. Digital River um, is another one that we can work with quite well. So I think, I, 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 I think um, today's carts, anything that is you know, out there and, and being touted as a good cart these days, uh, in 2011, mm -hmm. I think has a lot of opportunity and we can work with it. All so, right, yeah. spoken like a true politician. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for sharing with us. Now tell me about your company and what you do. Sure, um, Conversion IQ is a, um, continuous, it's a provider of continuous improvement programs. We okay. focus on conversion rate or increasing revenue off of a website. We take the current traffic there is and we, also, and we take that traffic and we make sure that the customers get the most of it. So we identify where people are being lost in the website and why and then we make recommendations and uh, test and improve conversion rates. It sounds like your kind of business can make an awful lot of money for people that are doing it poorly now. Definitely. Definitely. And we also offer a 30% conversion rate guarantee. Wow. And that's Thanks so much for sharing. This is Ralph Wilson with Web Marketing Today.